how to calculate the number of significant figures when you're multiplying or dividing or squaring something or taking the square root of something. Use the least number of significant digits in any of the numbers that you're using. Take a look at one of my other videos for my easiest rules ever for counting the number of significant digits. But the point is that when you are multiplying two numbers like this one, you type into your calculator 19.0005 times 2.019. You're going to get some long, ugly number like 38.36201, like I got here. But that's not your final answer because you need to truncate it so it has the least number of significant figures of any of the numbers you did. This has six significant figures. One, two, three, four, five, six. This has four significant figures. One, two, three, four. So your final answer can only have four. And I've got one, two, three, four, more than four. So I've got to truncate it. One, two, three, and then I have to round this one after it is a two. So that means I just keep it where it is. 38.36. That's your final answer according to significant digits because it has four significant digits and one of the numbers you multiplied only had four. It's the same when you're doing square roots. If you go to your calculator and you take the square root of 17.6, which I'm doing on my Blackberry calculator right now, I get 4.1952354. If you give your teacher that answer, they are going to mark you, well, half wrong. Because you got the right number, but it's not the right number of significant digits. This has three significant digits, so your answer is only allowed to have three. Four point, no, I've got to round this number, 0.195, so there's only two numbers after the decimal place, because I need three. I've got to round this up to 4.20 and include my unit. But I'm only allowed to have three significant digits in my answer because there were only three in the original number. Pretty easy rule. I'm surprised how many students don't follow it. Just count the number of significant digits in each one and use the fewest number of significant digits in this. Be careful, this is not the same as when you're doing adding or subtracting, which uses decimal places. Multiplying, dividing, squaring, square roots is all about actual significant digits. Best of luck.